everyone! Today I am here to talk about my favorite reads of 2017. All of these books that I have chosen are all new books that I have just read in 2017. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started! I picked 10 books that I wanted to talk about today. First up on my list is And I Darken by Kirsten White. This book was amazing. Kirsten really blew me away. This book is about Lada and it is a Vlad the Impaler retelling with a female lead. It is diverse and just the plot is perfect. I did not expect to love it as much as I did, but I thought it was pretty dang good and you should definitely pick it up. It is about Lada and she is trying to reclaim her throne and things just really escalate from there. My next book that I want to talk about is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. Is anyone surprised? This is a sequel to Nevernight and you know that I'm a sequel hater, but God's Grave was amazing. I really, really loved it. Things really pick up in the sequel and Mia is still trying to avenge her family. I will not spoil it, but the plot twist in this book will just really hit ya in the heart and make you want to die. Diversity, the amazing plot, just perfect characters. It's really the whole package. Again, I can't really say anything about it because I don't want to spoil it, but it is very, very good. Read it, guys, just read it, it's so good. The next book on my list is Truth Witch by Susan Denner. I think if you like Throne of Glass but were kind of disappointed in some aspects of the story, I think that you would really enjoy it. It has a lot more diversity, just diverse characters. It is about Sophia, who is a truth witch, which means she can tell a truth from a lie, and her thread sister, which is like a very, very close friend who are connected. Isolt is a thread witch, and she can see the threads that connect people. Truth witches are very rare, so the Empire is searching for her, and she's in a lot of danger and she kind of has to figure out how to use her powers and not get killed and there's just so oh, the plot in this book is so good Susan is truly a wizard writing person she is amazing Wind Witch was also one of my favorite books which is the sequel to this and Sight Witch comes out soon so I really really recommend this series if you're looking for fantasy with witches unique and diverse and just such 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 a good story Highly recommend it. Susan is amazing. I have an interview with her up on my channel, so if you want to go check that out, please do. We talk about all kinds of things that happen in Truth Witch and Wind Witch and her upcoming novel, Sight Witch. Uh, yeah, pick this up. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. The next book I'm going to talk about is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Gabaldon. This book was very good. I wanted to read it because I wanted to start watching the show. It is about a woman named Claire Randall and she is transported back in time during her trip to Scotland with her husband and she is transported back in time to 1743. It's a good historical fiction. I did have some issues with the abuse in this book is pretty heavy, especially just just a lot of mature content especially with rape and abuse and honestly the relationship I was not particularly happy with it was very abusive and yeah kind of problematic but despite the issues with that I still really enjoyed this book I really enjoyed all of the Scotland atmosphere and the storyline of mixing history with the narrative was very well done and I loved the writing style. This book is 800 pages long, but I flew through it. I definitely recommend it. Just every time I recommend it, I do want to warn people about the abuse aspect and the problematic relationship aspect because I do not think that that should be disregarded. I think it would be very unfair to say that this is a ideal relationship or a healthy relationship between Jamie and Claire. And I just wanted to clarify that, but still a very good novel and I would give it a read. Just be mindful of some problematic issues within it. The next book I want to talk about is A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colhurst. This book was so good. It's about a kingdom where the this princess is meant to marry the prince, but she falls in love with the prince's sister instead. There's so much talk about horses and horseback riding, which I adored because, of course, I ride horses and I love horses, so that was a huge part of the novel and a huge part of why I loved it so much. Also, I love this book because it is very unique. It is a lesbian romance in a fantasy book, which I have rarely, rarely seen as like the main couple of a book. 
especially in a YA novel. So I thought that that was very unique, very well done. I loved the main couple. I also thought it was unique because in this realm, homophobia does not exist. So the only problems that they faced were regarding that she needed to marry the prince and not the princess, even though she fell in love with the princess. So it's just, it's very good. It is very fast paced and I'm very sad that this is a standalone and I really really want to contact the author and tell her that I'm dying for a sequel but it is a very good well written standalone loved it perfect amazing next book on my list is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab A Darker Shade of Magic was everything I could have hoped for it is about three kingdoms basically so there's Red London, White London, and gray London and all the different Londons have different kinds of magic and then only a select few can travel in between the London and the main character Kel in this book can travel between worlds and it is just so good the magic system is so unique I love the plot the characters everything was just so amazing I fell in love with V.E. Schwab's writing and I can't wait to read more I kind of like fell off the track with this series and I definitely need to pick it back up and finish it because this is the only book of hers that I've read but I loved it so so much it is beautiful and the writing is just so so good and I can't wait to read more all of the V.E. Schwab books will be added to my shelf very soon. The next book I want to talk about is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin. It is about a, I don't even know what to call it, like a historical what if novel if the Nazis won World War II. Every year they host a motorcycle race across Third Reich and Imperial Japan and it is about a girl who survived the concentration camps but she was experimented upon by the Nazis and she becomes a shapeshifter. It's about a girl who enters the race and she wants to kill Hitler and it is so good guys. This is just like it's it feels historical but it also has a fantastical element and it was just so well done. Ryan Grodin is an amazing author. I can't wait to read more from her. I've not read the sequel. I heard that the sequel is not as good so I didn't read it. I think it does just fine as a standalone except for the ending so kind of not but I'm reading it as a standalone because I'm too scared to read the second one. I really really enjoy the concept of what would happen if the Nazis had won World War II amazing highly recommend can't wait to read more from her so that is wolf by wolf by ryan grodden another book that i want to talk about is the language of thorns by lee bardugo it is a series of short stories set in the grisha verse i can't even say how good it is each little story is just better than the last and they just build i don't even have a favorite i love them all and this might be i think that the language of thorns is my favorite lee bardugo book and yeah it's amazing beautiful illustrations accompany every single page and the illustrations grow as you're reading the story and progress through the story and it is just so amazing i loved every single page of that book it's just the writing is beautiful the art is beautiful it just meshes so perfectly it's everything i could have wanted as a writer and an artist to just see that on the page is just mind-blowing it's amazing I also wanted to talk about The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, which I do not have my physical copy of, but is so, so amazing. It is about a guy named Monty who goes on a European tour with his best friend Percy and his sister, and he ends up falling in love with his best friend Percy, and it shows their trials and tribulations as they travel together and figure out adulthood, and it is so good. There are so many plot twists. The story is just such a beautiful standalone, but it just has such a deeper meaning and queer romance, and it's just amazing, hilarious, laugh out loud funny. Mackenzie is such a good writer and Gentleman's Guide was definitely one of my favorite reads of 2017. The last book on my list for my favorite books of 2017 is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. This book blew me away. I just did a review over it. That is also on my channel so you can check it out. It's about Kale and his journey with Nezrin to the new continent. It is so, so good. My battery's about to die so if you want to learn more about it, check out my other video of my review but I loved it and I think that if you are kind of giving up on Sarah J Maas, definitely give this a try. So guys, that is it. Those were my top 10 books of 2017 in no particular order. Let me know down below what books you liked, if you read any of the books in my list, and what were your favorite books? What are you looking forward to reading in 2018? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!